Hey plant gang, just want to do a little video on Hyacinthus orientalis, uh, the hyacinth. Uh, this is a bulb that we plant in uh, the fall and it blooms in the spring. Now, not a spectacular display. Of course, this looks a lot, uh, a lot better if there's a lot of them. Uh, and it is a, a plant that blooms in early spring. Here it is about the middle of March for us. Uh, kind of thick leaves uh, that are sword-like on this plant. Uh, and you can see these flowers that are stacked on each other. Uh, they look quite beautiful too, uh, right before the flowers open. Uh, these little individual bell-shaped flowers on this. Great drink is a must for us in the southeastern United States if you want these bulbs to perennialize. They do last for several years, uh, but this like daffodil where we expect it to really last generation upon generation in the landscape. Uh, it really is kind of a short-lived bulbous perennial uh, that you want to plant in the fall and then it blooms in the spring. Come in close so you can see this flower uh, and it's beautiful right now. We're sure enjoying it uh, in this March weather today. Uh, so the common hyacinth here, uh, this is native to central and southern Turkey, over to uh, Syria, Lebanon, hardy from zones four through eight, uh, just up to about a foot tall. Uh, spreading out a half a foot wide, something like that. Uh, different bloom colors, uh, blue, purple, pink, red, white, uh, are all different choices. Likes to be in full sun. It definitely needs to have uh, good drainage uh, to last a long time in the landscape. Uh, again, fall plant, spring bloom. Uh, you want to leave the foliage on as long as you possibly can uh, because that's going to put energy back down into that uh, bulb storage organ uh, to really ensure that it becomes a little bit more perennial for you. Uh, but a great plant, uh, be careful as well when you're handling a hyacinth bulb when you're planting it in the fall. Uh, they can cause a little bit of skin irritation. Always recommend to wear gloves when you're handling, handling those bulbs. And also even the dust, if you're planting a lot of them, uh, the dust can be a little bit of a problem off of those bulbs. And so make sure you are protecting yourself if you're in particularly sensitive. Uh, but a great little plant, uh, one that you should definitely know. So we've zoomed in here on this candy striped colored one and there are a variety of different colors. Here's a landscape tip. Effectively mixed with other spring flowering bulbs, great in groups or masses.